guest from the Royal School in Armagh. They have let him out of his cage for the day. Will you give a big warm round of applause to the lion himself? Give it a round of applause, please, to Patrick. One of you first, Allah. I'll fight you. I'll fight you both if you want, Allah. I'll fight you with one paw tied behind my back, Allah. I'll fight you standing on one foot. I'll fight you with my eyes closed. Oh, pulling an axe on me, eh? Sneaking up on me, eh? Why? Here, go away and let us alone. Oh, afraid, huh? Scared, huh? Get up and fight, you shivering junkyard. <laughs> Put your hands up and fight, you lopsided bag of hay. Now that's getting personal, Liam. <laughs> you get up and teach him a lesson. Well, what's wrong with you teaching him a lesson? <laughs> oh, well, I, I, uh, yeah. oh, well, I hardly know him. <laughs> I'll get you anyway, Pee Wee. What did you do that for? I didn't bite him. No, but you tried to. Bad enough picking on a straw man. But when you go around picking on poor little dogs. Well, you did have to go and hit me, did you? Is, is my nose bleeding? Why, of course not. My goodness, what a fuss you're making. Naturally, when you go around picking on things weaker than you are, why? You're nothing but a great big coward. Oh, you're right. I am a coward. I haven't got any courage in me. Look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. Oh, well, 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 why don't you try counting sheep? That doesn't do any good. I'm afraid of them. Well, wouldn't you feel degraded to be seen in the company of a cowardly lion? I sure would. Why, of course not. Gee, that's awfully nice of you. My life has been simply unbearable. Even my family has disowned me. When I was just a young cub, my father he took me to the top of a high mountain and, and he waved his paw around and he said, One day, son, all of this will be yours. Oh, I was terrified. What is that? I'm scared of hides. At least you'll be safe if I come with you. Oh, well, how's that? No self-respecting wild animal will be seen anywhere near me. But if I had the courage, I'd be a king of the forest. Long live the king.
If I were the king of the Far East, not queen, not duke, not prince, my regal robes of the Far East would be satin, not cotton, not chintz. I'd command each thing be fish or fowl with a love and a and a royal As I'd click my heel, all the trees would kneel, and the mountains bow, and the bulls kowtow. And the sparrow would take wing. If I, if I were king, each rabbit would show respect to me. The chipmunks genuflect to me, though my tail would lash. I would show compass to every living thing. Fi, fi, were king, just king. Nobody, not know how. Not even a rhinoceros? Imposterous. How about a hippopotamus? I'd thrash him from top to bottom. Supposing you met an elephant? I'd wrap him up in cellophane. What about a brontosaurus? I'd show him who's king of the forest. How? How? <coughs> Courage. What makes a king out of a slave? Courage. What makes the flag on the master wave? Courage. What makes the elephant charge his tusk in the misky musk? All oh, the dusky dusk. Courage. What makes the sinks the seventh wonder? What makes dawn come up like thunder? Courage. What makes a hot and tot so hot? What puts the apron apricot? What have they got that I ain't got? Courage. You can say that again. <laughs> With courage, I'd be king of kings, and the whole year round, I'd be hail and crowned by every living thing. Fly, fly, fly. Well done, congratulations, take a bow. Well done, Lion. Well done, Scarecrow, Dorothy, and Tin Man. Thank you very much. Give them another round of applause, folks. That was a brilliant performance. Thank you very much. And well done, congratulations on your own performance. Well done.